Wayne, we'll look ahead to the game in, in a few moments' time, but, but first of all, great performance on Tuesday night, and you've come up and got the reward for that with, with a home tie against Premier League opposition. Yeah, really pleasing performance, um, very well um, disciplined. You know, we stuck to our guns, we didn't come away from, from stuff that we worked on. We obviously identified areas where we tried to stop them playing, or sh we, we wanted them to play in areas that we want to play in, and not where they wanted to play in, and I think for large parts of the game, um, we achieved that. Um, I still think that they had chances, um, but I think Sam's only really made three or four saves. So, um, you know, I'm sure that obviously, that from their opinion, they, they would have been disappointed from that, but that's not our concern. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've done a, a good job on them, and uh, there was some real positives to come out. And obviously, the reward um, for that is, is a home tie, which is brilliant. First and foremost, being at home is, is all you can ask for. Um, and to have that home tie against the Premier League team, it obviously makes it a little bit special. Yeah, and obviously it brings back memories for a lot of fans of, of, of three years ago. Ultimately, ended up at Old Trafford, but being Crystal Palace, being Tottenham as, uh, as well, it, it, a cup run just just stirs things, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. And listen, that's what football is about: supporting your club. Um, you know, taking away as, as many memories as you can um, from from the experiences that you that you have. Supporting a team can be highs and lows, and. As I said after the game, you know, it's important that the lads enjoy the moment of, of obviously getting a, a good result against what is a, a very good League One team. Um, and I'm sure that they'll be looking forward to, uh, to picking their wits against a Premier League team on, on our own patch. Um, and as, as I'm sure that the, the fans are going to be delighted to see that as well. But there's a lot of football to be played between now and then. And um, we've obviously got uh, our own agenda and our own game to prepare for uh, come this Saturday. Yeah, and you referenced that after the game on Tuesday about important to enjoy it, but important to take the momentum and that performance into your bread and butter on Saturday. Yeah, that's right. And the, the, the performances have been um, indifferent in the fact of a full 90 minute performance. Uh, that was probably as close as you're going to get to a, a full 90 minute performance in, in discipline, in mental capacity, um, in structure, in discipline. Um, I think the two games previous to that are, are two league games. Uh, we've been very strong uh, in both second halves of the game, both at Northampton and, and Carlisle. Um, and it's about now actually putting a, a performance together against Stockport over a, a long period to give ourselves the best chance of, of obviously getting a win, which is, which is our aim against Stockport on Saturday. And what you have proved in the first three games is, is creating opportunities and, and taking them on occasion. Even, even on Tuesday night, I think you have one clear-cut opportunity you took and there were two or three other opportunities where you could have broken away. Against Carlisle, you, you, you've hit the inside of the post and, and against Northampton, creating chances as well. Yeah, and that's something that obviously we've, we've done well at um, since we've been in the environment. As I've alluded to last week, I think we've scored in every game yeah. apart from two or three last season, which again is pleasing, which proves that we are creating and uh, Ipswich was, was a unique one because we knew that the opportunities that we would have would be limited because of the way that we set up. Um, but ultimately you do need to be ruthless and take them when they come along. Uh, whether or not you take them or, or it's, it's an error from the opposition that, that gives you that opportunity, it needs to be in the back of the net. Thankfully we took that opportunity Tuesday and it'll be no different come Saturday. You know, we're, we're still looking to be positive, we're still looking to create, we're still looking to get into those final third entries which I thought we did on many occasions against Carlisle at home. Um, and on a different day, you score two or three goals and we're, we're sitting here with with three points instead of just the one. Um, so again, our mentality won't change. Um, we'll, we'll look to be positive, a way to, to stop ball to create opportunities to score goals. Are you surprised to see to stop ball have had a bit of a, bit of a shaky start given the investment and, and lots of people outside had expected them to hit the ground running given the way they finished last year? Yeah, football can, can be like that when you're coming up from a division in the National League into, into league football, regardless of how much money you've got on, on what you spend on individuals, um, it's not always easy to go and get three points. Um, obviously, we've done our due diligence on, on Stockport and they've, they've played well in, in both their fixtures, their league fixtures. Um, and I think if you looked at the Barrow game, for example, some of the goals that Barrow scored were, 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 were top, top goals and sometimes you can't do a lot about those. So, you know, that, that I'm sure that their confidence won't be won't be knocked. Although they've not got you know many points on the board, it's it's a situation where they're, they're in a division, a new division, and they need to find their feet. 
the youngsters you've introduced, obviously Kazim on, on, on Tuesday night, and obviously we've seen Marley Marshall Miranda who fits and spurts, gets his first start on Tuesday night uh, as well. The, the, the likes of them, they're giving you food for thought, they're pushing, aren't they? Definitely, and that's, that's what football's about. When you get your opportunity, regardless of your age, it's about what you do with that opportunity as an individual. And I think both Marley and Alamin were, were first class. On on, uh, on Tuesday, in what was a quite in, intimidating sort of arena, if you like, having not experienced probably anything like that before, I um, in. Obviously, the, the ground being that big, um, I think it was about twelve thousand now, which again, he probably wouldn't have been um, exposed to before. Um, but listen, it's what it's about. We only give opportunity to to people on on merit um, and when they deserve it. Um, and both individuals have been first class through pre-season. I've had the advantage to work with both individuals for over a long period at the football club. I know what they can and can't do. And there, there is a trust, um, a trust element there that, you know, we, we had full faith in, in both of those abilities that, that, that they'd go out and perform on, on a big stage and they didn't let us down. So talking about Marley Marshall Miranda specifically, obviously we've seen Che Cooper uh, come in, Gene Kennedy last, last year as well, but it, but it almost seems, despite those two, obviously have had the, a couple of injuries now, that, that Marley might have sort of almost stolen a march and pushed himself ahead because of the pre-season that he's had and the work he's done. Well, as I said, you know that these fellas are, are going to be called upon, um, all the fellas that you mentioned there are going to be called upon in the season. Now, injuries do play a part, um, which then gives maybe people opportunity. Good form plays a part, um, which again gives people opportunity. But you put the two together and you know that they're, 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 they're now called upon. They're now saying, right, you're, you're actually starting a game here. You know, so you need to hit the ground running. You know, we've got full faith and confidence in your ability. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in the team. It's now you go out there and express yourself. This is your time, and as I said, you know, both of them have, have done exceptionally well. And just finally from here, we'll ask about the injuries. Obviously, notable absentees, Alan Judge, we saw go off on Saturday and, and Freddie Sears missing. Are they, are they sort of being monitored ahead of Saturday? Yep, yeah, we've got 48 hours before we, we play the game against Stockport. So, again, we've got that time to, to assess, um, to try and get them right and uh, get them in the best possible shape we can um, to try and be involved Saturday.